veterans of Eritrea's 30 year civil war have come together in this hall to show people how they fought this incredible war against the gigantic state of Ethiopia. This 30 year war that they fought and here a veteran of the war is showing other veterans and other visitors the kinds of weapons, quite basic weapons that they used while fighting this war in the most hostile of terrains, desert-like conditions. They've, much of the war was fought underground and because the territory was so difficult, they used, of all things, camels to carry weapons, to carry the wounded. Uh, they used camels because they are desert creatures who can cope with this difficult, difficult terrain that the Eritreans who had really no equipment to fight the Ethiopians. The Ethiopians, meanwhile, they use tanks and other sophisticated weapons. For example, they've made models of them here. The Eritreans managed to capture some of these tanks, um, which actually still litter the countryside. If you go outside Asmara, you see tanks in the de desert, you see tanks outside the city, remnants of this civil war. And there's also photographs that they have showing some of the tanks, for example, these are some tanks they captured from uh, the Ethiopians, which they've proudly put the Eritrean flag onto. And then a little bit further up is an amazing exhibition of the how creative the Eritreans were, who had almost nothing. This model is of a man who had his whole jaw blown off by a bullet, and they performed a tracheotomy with, of all things, a part of a biro. This was part of a biro that they used, and this man survived. And here we have, amazingly, um, excuse me, gentlemen, um, a bra that they made for the women fighters because there was nothing in the bush they had to make everything themselves so this was a bra and you can see they made a pretty little rose here this was a sanitary towel that they used for the women in the bush and they said that the women kept fighting no matter what and they made um, when they ran out of military uniforms they made them out of sacks shorts out of sacks uh, that they wore and then the shoes are incredible. These shoes are made out of cardboard and then there's this is actually from what you use when you have a drip and the doctors made this for the soldiers who when they um, had recovered from being um, in the hospital to walk back to the front they had no shoes so they used they used this and then my favorite I think thing in this whole exhibition is this shoe which is a trick shoe because when the um, Eritreans were fighting, uh, behind, especially behind enemy lines, they used to wear a shoe like this. But if you look on the other side, they made a sole which they glued on, which was pointing in the opposite direction. So the enemy thought when they were tracking them that they were walking in completely the opposite direction to um, the way they were actually walking. So that was a fine piece of trickery on the part of the Eritreans. And then finally, we have how they used to eat their food. Here is bread uh, that they used to eat off a plate of stone because they, were, they had no plates. They also uh, used to eat out of um, old yellow um, jerry cans that they cut and then they used to eat out of that. And they made spoons as well out of the jerry cans and this kind of shows the spirit of self-reliance that in many ways lives on in Eritrea today.